So if we're trying to get a color palette to use in Asaprite for Pixar, the best option for a site that you can download your palettes on is going to be lowspec.com. So if you come to lowspec.com and then you click a palette list on the top, you're going to be able to filter the color palettes based on things like number of colors. So you might want to be limited in the number of colors that you have to work with. So you could come in here, do max, and then set number of colors to, let's say, 32. And you can sort by things like number of downloads if you want to find the ones that are really popular. So switching to downloads, you can see the most popular color palettes like Indesca 32 or Zarki 32. And if you want to download any of them, you can click on this download palette file button. Two that will definitely work in Asaprite would be PNG images. Uh, the difference here is that it just takes up a different number of pixels in the image itself, but you'll have the exact same colors. So a 32x uh, PNG image is just going to have a 32 pixel square um, for each of the colors where 1x would have one pixel. So easier to see if it's 32x, but takes up a little bit more memory. Uh, .hex files will also work as well. But uh, watch out for Photoshop.ase because although you would think .ase for Asaprite, it doesn't actually really work uh, using the load palette functionality in Asaprite at the moment. So let's go ahead and grab a hex file. For this one, I'll save it to the desktop. And then let's also grab Zucky32 as a 8 by 8 pixel squares PNG image. And let's go ahead and save that. So you can see because it's 8 by 8 pixels, it's a little easier to see on the screen there. And it doesn't really take up much more space. So let's save those to the desktop. So now in Asaprite, you can come in here after you start a new file, you'll see your color palettes on the left. You can click on this drop down the hamburger menu and then go to load palette. So load palette, you can grab different files on your computer. Make sure that your file type is set to all formats or at least the format you're looking for. And we can see our .hex, a .asc file I've already downloaded and .png. So just to demonstrate, if you double click on the ASE, it's not gonna load. So just wanna point that out. Now let's actually load the .hex format. So I'll double click there and we have our colors loaded up here on the left. So if we want to take this list of colors and save it to Asaprite as a preset that will load every time we start a new Asaprite file, then we wanna click on this menu and then go down to save palette as preset. So where we're saving our color palettes is into the app data uh, on our computer for the user profile. So anything in this folder saved as a .ase, and we're talking an Asaprite ASE, not a Photoshop one, is going to load up as a color palette. So clicking on palettes here, uh, we can just save this. So let's see. So I believe this was the Indesca 32 color palette. So I'm just going to type in Indesca-32, and I'll save it as a .ase, and go ahead and hit OK. So now in this app data folder, we should see the color palette loaded in here, and that will be included when we boot Asaprite again. So let's go ahead and restart the program. Okay, so now we're back in Asaprite. I'm going to start a new file, and we should be able to find that Indesca32 color palette loaded in here in the presets. So clicking there, we can search here by name. I'm going to type Indesca, and then we have Indesca32 right there. So double click it. And that's going to load the color palette for us to use on this new file. Obviously, if you go to this app data location on your computer, just change the username to whatever you have for your Windows profile. Then you could just drag and drop color palettes in here as well. So let's put this Zuggy32 color palette into there. Restart Asprite one more time. And let's see if we can find it in the presets. I'm going to type in Zuggy32. So I think this color palette might already have been included into Asprite by default, but we also see the 8x PNG version here. So I'm going to double click on that and we can see our colors are loaded in. Now note that although there were 8 by 8 pixels for each of those colors, uh, Asprite is automatically going to detect all of the colors from that image and put them over here as the color palette, not one color for every single pixel inside of the image, which is what you want. You only want one instance for each color. Okay, so just really quickly, another couple of resources you can use for finding color palettes or making your own would include uh, this blog post on stuartspixelgames.com. So he has a bunch of links here for different color palettes and a couple color generators uh, that you can bring in to Asaprite.
Some of these you would also find on the low spec page um, as well as palettes you can directly download there. Um, but here are some more examples you can look for. Also, if you look around, and this is one of the links you'll find on that blog post, there are color palette generators you can use. So this link to a color ramp creator, you can adjust things like the hue value to get a different base color, change the amount that each color should shift the base color by so that if you increase this a bunch, your colors will be a lot more varied. But if you lower it down, it's going to be closer together to the base color. And then you can raise the richness if you want it to be very vibrant or lower it down for it to be um, less saturated in color. And you can also choose less shades if you want less colors in your color palette. Okay, so that's going to be the basics of how you can load color palettes into Asset Prey and how you can save them for future presets so that you can reuse them whenever you start new files inside of the program. So I've been Chris. I hope this video helped you guys out a little bit. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in my future video content.